We are excited to introduce to you Prophetic Edge, where we are going to be digging into the revelation of God's Word and what it looks like to walk in victory through the Word of God. Whenever God is ready to move in Scripture and bring victory to people, He always brings a fresh edge of revelation. My friends, I am thrilled to be reconnecting with you on here. It is time for us to dig into uh, some more understanding from the scripture, revelation from the Lord, and just thoughts that God has given me over time. Whenever we're doing a podcast, we're always teaching on specific subjects, and we're going to continue that. But over this season, in the busyness of travel and the building of ministry, it's been a little while since we've done an update. So I just want to bring you some notes from my journal, some key things that God has been speaking to me that have fed my spirit and kept me moving and caused me to understand that we have overcoming life. And so I want to drop with you the first word that God woke me up one night and said to me that just blew my mind. I don't know if you're ready, but here's the first thing God said to me. Joy needs a victim. I mean, really? Come on, think about that. I said, Lord, what are you saying to me? What do you mean that joy needs a victim? He says, just like somebody who would suddenly be taken by surprise, taken unaware, caught by someone who's not expected, like you would walk into your house in the middle of the night and be surprised. He said, joy needs to surprise you, overtake you, overwhelm you. Joy is looking for a victim. Now, you might not like that term. You can put it any way you want to, but it brought my spirit into such just hilarity. I began to laugh on the couch. I began to laugh out loud. And the Lord said, joy is always looking for someone to surprise, to overtake. Joy. Joy is a spiritual weapon. Joy is the strength of God. Joy is the power to overcome. Joy is looking for you. Now, what do you do when joy is looking for you? You have to let yourself be found. David said it like this, why so downcast, oh my soul? Put your hope in God. Ah, every now and then you need to let joy just take you, just grab you, just leap on you, just find a way into your house, into your life. Because right now the world is being overwhelmed with sorrows and sadness and news and trouble. Economies are shaking. Politicians are doing what politicians do. Information is being banded about incorrectly or correctly that's causing people to lose hope. We're watching people we trusted in ministry fall to the right and to the left. We've got jobs that may be secure and tomorrow they may not. We have programs that are in place that might disappear and the whole world is wondering what's next. I know what's next. The Lord is on your side. Oh, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory will come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. You've got to remember your joy. If you can't find it, stir it up. How do you stir up joy? First, remember that the Lord is good, that he's on your side. Then think about the good things he's already done for you. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, think of all the things he spared you from, saved you from, kept you from. If that's not enough, think about the fact that there's breath in your lungs and strength in your body. If that's not enough, think about the fact when you woke up this morning, the sun was still shining and the birds were still flying. If that's not good enough, remember this. At least you're not doing as bad as some of the people that hate you. At least you're still alive. At least you're still surviving. Come on, there's something in your life that ought to make you realize that God is fighting for you. Joy is calling you. Joy is reminding you. When you can't find a reason, the Bible says when you run out of joy, leap for it. Dance for it. I double dog dare you. Turn on some music. If you can't find any good praise music, well, find some good R&B. Find a good old rock song. Oh, oh, I know that might be sacrilegious. Well, I'm not talking to your brain. I'm talking to your spirit. You need to get up and move. You need to get in the middle of your carpet right now and begin to just let your little feet start dancing and thank God that you got one more day of life ahead of you. You need to remember he's fighting for you. 
So I will dance before the Lord with all my might. Joy is looking for you. I'll tell you something I learned years ago, and this is going to sound just crazy, but I remember when the Lord said to me, he said, every now and then you need to remember the movies that make you laugh, remember the stories that make you smile, and remember the songs that bring you joy and keep them close to you. So yes, I pray in the spirit all the time. Yes, I love to read the word out loud, but every now and then, I love to go find me one of those old Robin Williams movies. I'll find something with Billy Crystal, find me something with a clip of Chris Rock. I find me something and just laugh myself out loud. I find something where Eddie Murphy is talking and I just laugh. Oh, they might not be your favorites. Well, you ought to have your own. You ought to have somebody that makes you smile, makes you, and I laugh for no other reason than I'm alive. I let laughter do it good like a medicine. Joy is looking for you. Don't let joy find you missing. You know, when somebody goes missing, they put out an APB, they put out an all points bulletin and they let you know, well, the last time we saw them, they were wearing blue jeans and a red shirt and they had on a baseball cap and they were wearing white tennis shoes. Is joy looking for you like a victim is lost, like you've gone missing? When's the last time your family saw you smile? When's the last time there was joy in your heart? When's the last time you laughed at all the trouble that the world is trying to bring you? Oh, joy is looking for you. Has joy realized that you are absent, that you're missing? You need to let joy find you today. Be found in joy. Be found in peace. Be found in happiness. Let joy find you today. And so, my friends, I just want to encourage you. You don't need to go through life feeling sad, sorrowful, messed up. You don't need to go through life feeling depressed and oppressed and to think everything is crushing you and taking you down. Today is a day when you need to let joy find you. So let joy find you. If that's not good enough, right now, I just want you to stand up where you are and just say your address out loud and let God know I'm at the same address. If you want to send a little joy my way, I'll answer the door today. Today is a day, Jesus, when I'll take a little smile. I'm going to release a little dance. I'm going to lift up my hands. I'm going to shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. Today is the day when joy is going to find me. It doesn't mean that you don't have trouble, but it means that trouble don't own you. Come on with me. Choose joy today. What does joy stand for? I'm going to give you a little acronym. J-O-Y, Jesus over you. Oh, if Jesus is still reigning, if Jesus is over your life, if Jesus is over your mind, if Jesus is over your heart, you got joy. Jesus over you. Oh, it might look bad, but it ain't over. The doctor gave you a bad report, but you're not dead yet. Oh, you need some money, but you still got breath. Jesus is over you. It's looking bad, but it looked bad for Joshua. It's looking terrible. Moses had one of those days. I'm walking through a valley. David wrote a song while walking through a valley. Jesus over you. Peter was in prison and God got him out. Paul was in a shipwreck and he ended up singing. What you going to do in the middle of your storm? Jesus over you. Oh, I dare you. Have a little joy. Take a little drink of Jesus today. Have a little sip of the Holy Ghost. Let him mess up your mind a little bit. Ah, double dog dare you. Let the Lord turn your heart upside down so that you recognize he's on your side. You got an army that you cannot see. You're surrounded by angels that you might not feel. But understand, they're there. They're covering you. God's going to bring you through this like he brought you through that. So before you think about how bad it is, think about how good he is. Jesus over you. My friends, be blessed this day. Be encouraged. And remember, from the notes of the journal, the Lord is speaking life to you. We're just sharing notes. These are some of the things the Lord has spoken to me in my life that has helped me these last five years. And the Lord spoke to me, actually, the Lord spoke through Patrick. Patrick said to me, why don't you just share some of them notes? So that's some joy today. Let the Lord bless you. May your house be blessed. May your family be blessed. May everybody in your life recognize that you got too much joy 
to act like the world is owning you. You got too much joy to act like this world can control you. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king, oh, 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 do you see him? That's him at your front door. Joy is looking for you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. This has been Prophetic Edge with Michael Dalton. If this episode has blessed you, please consider sharing it with someone. For more information, ministry dates, and to sow into the ministry, please visit yes-ministries.com. 